Yo, what's up, guys? Today we are checking out episode nine and ten of this epic, epic show, guys. So far, uh, one season in, you know, we got two episodes to go, but I'm absolutely loving this show. I know you're a big fan. We talk yeah. about it <laughs> daily. We're quoting it. We're really invested into the characters, yeah. the story. So, um, guys, thank you so much for the support over our first season, and we are about to be live, baby. One episode to go, and we're all caught up. So. Thank you guys so much, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon. Yada, yada, yada. Y'all know the spill. Let's Ready? Let's go, yeah. Let's go. The actor of Viserys, phenomenal work. Good job, baby. Top 10. Patty with two Ds. All right, so who we got here? Mm. I'm just playing. I'm not about to play that game. Not with this one. <laughs> uh, I still don't know what that means. Like, I feel dumb. That was the family tree, but geez, this one's hard. I'm scared about this one, though, because I feel like it could show you some, like, foreshadowing because it'd be showing people bloody and stuff like what if we miss that because we're too like we don't know what in the hell is foreshadowing i don't know what that means and this is it's added do you think it's tiring to play the cello for that long like at once mm. <laughs> i don't know <laughs> we're running out of stuff to talk about in the <laughs> intro <isn't we? laughs> jeez This feels cold and dead like Viserys, doesn't it? It's Roman doing his work. It feels so stressful for some Right, reason. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, who Ooh, is this kid? It looks like Tommen. A little bird action. Did you see that? Slipping yeah. scrolls? Yeah. We saw that. Sure. Long hair, girl. That's the little maiden lady? The yeah, lady? she's like a sneak. Help me dress. Tell no one why. Oh, because they don't want Rhaenyra. I get it. Right, Who she'll knows? be up in there immediately, won't she? I had Maiden Talia. Some of the servants. I saw him last night. Before he... He told me he wished for Egon to be king. That is not what he said. Hmm. He was high. He was on that poppy, baby. Misconstruing it's the truth uttered with his own lips. His last words to me, and I was the only one to hear it. And now he's dead. I'd have a hard time believing that, considering he's been openly supporting his daughter forever. What is it that could not await an hour? Was dawn invaded? So she told her to tell no one, and she turned around and told everyone. I, I mean, I think dead. she told somebody by signal. It was like a signal. I was sorry, guys. I was thinking the freaking the candle in the tower. Real no, quick. yeah, if it lights green, call your banners. Right. But but no, I was thinking more of when remember when she when Brianna Tarth was like Sansa, if you need me, light the candle. Yeah. Yeah, that was it's like a symbol for like uh, something. I don't know what. This is that smug little Lannister man right here, ain't it? <laughs> smug. The king is dead. Oof. We grieve for Viserys the peaceful, our sovereign. Our friend. But he has left us a gift. With his last breath, he impressed upon the queen his final wish that his son, Aegon, should succeed Oof. him as Lord of the Seven Kingdom. He's a tot. Still. He's still young. Then we may proceed now with the full assurance of his blessing on our long-laid plans. Yes, yes. you are in green. There is much to be done, as we previously discussed now. There are two among the captains of the City Watch that remain loyal to Damon. Let us replace them. Lord Lannister. The treasury is well in hand. The gold will be divided for safekeeping. Let ravens be sent to our allies, Riverrun and Highgarden. Am I to understand that members of the small council have been planning secretly to install my son without me? My queen, there was no need to sully you with darkling schemes. I will not have that. Wow. To hear that you are plotting to replace the king's chosen heir with an imposter. His firstborn son is hardly an imposter. Hundreds of lords and landed knights swore fealty to the princess. That was them 20 years ago. Most of them are now dead. You heard the Lord Hand, plot or no. The king changed his mind. I am six and 70 years old. I have known Viserys longer than any who sit at this table. Six and, and 70. I will not believe that right. he said this on his deathbed alone with only the, the boy's mother oh. as a witness. This is seizure! It is theft! It is treason, at the least! Mind it is your tongue, Lyman. The king was well last night, by all accounts. Uh-oh. Which of you here can swear 
that he died of his own accord. Which oh. of us are you accusing of regicide, Lord Beesbury? Whether it was one of you or all of you, I care not. I will have no Sit part down! Oh! No! Oh! Dang! No, man! Sir Gregor threw uh, Kyber that hard, busted his head open. He uh, did the same thing. Kristen Cole, calm down, down Kristen. Your and remove your cloaks, Sir Kristen. Yeah, chop his ass up. Oh. Man, he's slow as hell on the draw. <laughs> Cast down your sword. All right, I'm I in charge. For insults to her grace, the queen. There was no insult to me, Sir Kristen. You put aside your blade. His ass. As I come to this, Lord Commander, enough. Let us have Lord Peacebury removed. No. Yeah, please. No. The door remains shut until we finish our business. I think I was wrong about Otto. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I just want to point out, they mentioned that they're they're taking the supporters from the City Watch, the Renera supporters, like the Damon supporters, basically, and they're replacing them. Did you hear that? Did yeah. you catch that part? Holy mess. Right. Wow, what a dystopian and place. And the crazy thing that Allison said was, you guys had plans to put my son on the throne without me. So this man, they were making moves without her knowing and Beesbury. Yeah, because they're all a bunch of dang snakes, ain't they? Mm-hmm. Ah. Storm's End is of concern. We may not assume the loyalty of Lord Boris, but he has four daughters. All of them unmarried. The right proposal. What of Rhaenyra? The former heir cannot, of course, be allowed to remain free and draw support to her claim. You mean to imprison her? She and her family will be given the opportunity to publicly swear obeisance to the new king. She will never better. She can't. Nor will Damon, which you know. You plan to kill them? No. She has to protect the legacy, Rhaenyra. I Lord Eric, see to this. Your father is correct, Your Grace. A living challenger invites battle and bloodshed. It is unsavory, yes, but a sacrifice we must make to secure Aegon's succession. And then there is Daemon to consider. The king wouldn't wish for any of the king did not wish for the murder of his daughter. He loved her. I will not have you deny this. Yes. One more word, and I'll have you removed from this chamber and sent to the wall. Damn. Oh. <laughs> That might be better if you're gonna get your head slammed on a table. What do you suggest, Your Grace? Time is of the essence. Lord Commander Westerling, take your knights the Dragonstone. Be quick and be clean. He's gonna be like, hell no. I'd be like, yes, absolutely, and then go tell her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what the hell? Why no, you? they're Lord Commander they take the oaths. Guard. I recognize no authority but the king's. And until there is one, I have no place here. The loyalty. The Scottish accent really tops off the loyalty. My homeboy, sell me over here. Oh yeah, sell me. Oh, he's before sell me. It is ah. our fate, I think, to crave always what is given to another. If one possesses a thing, the other will take it away. Yes, princess. What type of vision she have? Where is Ergon? Not here. He's not in his rooms. Rooms? Father. What's happened? Your father. There is a beast beneath the boards. Oh, my dearest love. Oh. You gotta listen to what she says, because when I she know. says things, they come true. <laughs> oh. There's the beast right there. The one eyed Willie. <laughs> oh. Shine in the arm. Eric. Where's the prince? He exploits his authority to order me away, and then he evades me, my lord. That'll tell. <laughs> <laughs> I always wonder what happens if they do that. I believe he may have left the keep secretly. Gone into the city. Find him. Shouldn't you be like in trouble? <laughs> Bring him to me and me alone, Sir Eric. He's being sneaky. Hell yeah, he is. Damn, wake was... up, wake up. Huh? So I was about to go get me an auto tattoo, but if he keeps this up. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? This feels like some some explosion. Some green explosion is about to happen. Right. Bringing everybody to one area. <laughs> Prince Agon's not to be found within the castle walls, Your Grace. Agon must be found, and he must be brought to me. The very fate of the Seven Kingdoms depends on it. Everything you feel for me is your queen. 
Oh, he is Sir right. Sadbees. <laughs> I'll come with you. That would not be my desire, Aymond, if anything has happened. Cole needs me, Mother. Sir Eric isn't the only one who knows Aegon's doings. His doings? I don't know. So Kristen Cole's got how many love interests? Perfect, because the king's gone, huh? Yeah. Then Funny there's multiple parties trying to go get the Aegon. I know. Where is he at? <laughs> it's an undercover mission. Well, I, I was going to guess where he's at. He's probably somewhere publicly doing something gross. Aegon brought me to the Street of Silk on my 13th name day. Because his duty is my brother, he said. To ensure I was as educated as he was. <laughs> at least that's what I understood him to mean. That's the most he's ever talked, I think. <laughs> he said time to get it wet. Every woman is an image of the mother to be spoken of with reverence. That's right, Kristen Cole. Go find another queen to screw. <laughs> right. Good job, Kristen. You see, the man we seek is the young Prince Agon. I may trust, I hope, in the discretion of your trade. <laughs> the prince is not here. Has he been here? Earlier, perhaps? Quite a bit earlier. Years ago, in fact. But more recently. He does not frequent the street of silk. His tastes are known to be less discriminating. Meaning what? I wish you luck, good sir. And my best to your friend. How you've grown. Oh, he used to go up in there? Well, he just said Aegon took him when he was 13. <laughs> and told the him <laughs> he needed to learn. <laughs> it's as simple as that. You once wore your banners to Rhaenyra, you must. Now, pledge them to the future king. Why are you Why are you getting people to bow to you for? I must confer first with my house on this matter. Facts. You'll not leave this room without declaring your intention. Impulsive. Impulsive. Oh, that guy. I am no oath breaker. I will not bend the knee. Anyone else? Why all look scared, though? House Fell keeps its sworn oath to the princess. Very well. No, not that guy. Long live the king. Long live the king. His intentions are very weird to me, though. I feel like they transcend what's going on right here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know he's giving me the little finger bombs. The man in the shadow. When it meant he was in a less discriminating spot, what is that supposed to mean? It seems you were mistaken as to Egon's habits. I'm not gonna say that. He could be in the hands of mercenaries. Out. Is that on a no ship clue? To eat? He could be dead. Let us hope for your mother's sake that is not the case. Oh, I get it. He was in the poor spots. Like the streets of silk sounds like more uppity. Mm. Let's have a look. Go on. Come here. Come here. What Get the hell? The damn Hunger Games? Oh my god, it's the minor leagues. <gasps> oh my gosh. How old are they? About 10 years, I should say. <laughs> they have them grow the nails and file the teeth. Well, that's crazy. Oh my god. Prince Egon spends many a night in this place. Do you see now what he is? You've not seen everything. That sucks. <laughs> A Targaryen. Oh one of many I'd wager. Oh, that's his kids, man. That's jacked up. So yeah, guys, definitely, bro. Definitely moving away from these dang these greenies. Yeah, these greenies are some meanies, baby. You know what I'm saying? Here I am, trawling the city, ever the good soldier, in search of a wastrel who's never taken half an interest in his birthright. It is I, the younger brother, who studies history and philosophy. It is I who trains with the sword, who rides the largest dragon in the world. It is I who should be... Ooh. That's stressful. State your claim. I know what it is to toil for what others are freely given. Mm -hmm. And we can't find him, Cole. We are decent men with no taste for depravity. His secrets are his own. He's welcome to them. I'm next in line to the throne. Should they come looking for me, I intend to be found. He said a lot by saying a little right there. Right, but is that man just like hiding? <laughs> is he hiding? The question is, do you think he'd kill his brother? <laughs> if your brother was doing junk like Something that, maybe. A moment of your time, my lords. You'll find no buyers for your words here. I can take you to Prince Hagon. 
nice eye. Rather, I'm sent by one who knows where he is. I'll tell you for a price. Deliver him. I will consider your price. My mistress will not treat with the servants of the keep. Exalted though they may be, she'll trust this to the hand of the king only. Impossible. I think he will wish to hear what the white worm can tell him. Yeah, I don't know who that is, but... No way. Aww. He was fleeing from the gate. A warning for the princess, I'd wager. What say you? The Lord Confessor presumes I have no love for the princess. And where were you going then with such urgency? Let the king's justice take him. Man, you better have an answer when he asks you something. Man, I would have said I was trying to go get something else to eat outside of town. You did well. I'm trying to stretch me horse's legs, me lord. My duty, my lord hand. I don't like this I've guy. I've spent many hours with the queen of late. Ooh. There's no reason those hours cannot, in the end, benefit you. They already have. <laughs> How long has he been in there? I guess as long as it takes, because he can't really say much until Aegon's found, right? Yeah. What are you supposed to do? Sisters. So basically, they're thinking, like, we got to get Aegon up here ASAP before we announce it, because he needs to immediately step in. Yeah. Give her near. No chance. Yeah, basically, because the minute that it goes being announced, it's, it's over. There's the dagger, you see? Oh, my gosh. He didn't really say much about his succession before he died, so other than Rhaenyra is in charge, but you know what I'm saying? Like, plus, I guess she really loved him. She's kind of upset, ain't she? I will do you the considerable courtesy of assuming there is a good reason for the outrage of my treatment here this morning. My sincerest regrets for the lack of ceremony. The king. And you are usurping the throne. It was my husband's dying wish. <laughs> Leave it or no, it is of no consequence. Ergon will be king. I came here to ask your support. Well, I must credit you for your boldness. House Valarian has long allied itself with the Princess Rhaenyra, and what has it gained you? Your daughter dead, alone in Pentos, your son cuckolded. Rhaenyra's heirs are none of yours. It is your husband who grasps so heedlessly for the throne. And even he has abandoned you, gone these six long years to fight a desperate battle, returning grievously, if not mortally wounded, leaving the Lady of Driftmark to chart her course alone. The word of my house is not fickle. No, but, dear cousin, you, more than any soul alive, understand what I say now. Princess Rhaenys, I loved my husband, but I will speak the truth we both know. You should have been queen. I little thought to hear those words from you. The Iron Throne was yours by blood and by temperament. Viserys would have lived his days a country lord, content to hunt and study his histories, but here we are. This is manipulation, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. We do not rule, but we may guide the men that do, gently. Away from violence and sure destruction and instead toward peace. <laughs> it's in the name of peace that you've imprisoned me. And what of my dragon? If we are overmatched, Rene will be tempted to strike us and war will ensue. Without your dragon, she may be persuaded to negotiate. She's pissing me off. She keeps strong man in Rhaenyra. you want, you shall have it. For you and your granddaughters to pass on as you see fit. You are wiser than I believe she should be. That's the deal though, Alison kinda. Hightower, a true queen. Counts the cost to her people. Yeah, because that helps her bloodline. And yet you mm -hmm. toil still the long game. in service to men. Your father, your husband, your son. You desire not to be free, but to make a window in the wall of your prison. Mm. You never imagined yourself on the Iron Throne. No mm. shot. They did do all that behind your back. She keeps saying Rhaenyra is going to do this, Rhaenyra is going to do that. And then she, she preemptively nothing. strikes. And Rhaenyra is just sort of chilling. She don't <laughs> trying know to make peace. If, she, if Rhaenyra found out her dad died, she would be broken. Yeah. My prince. Why does Aemon sort of look like Trevor Lawrence? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why it gets on my nerves. Loki, guys. Sorry, you I'm a Game Talk fan. I went mysterious there. Mysterious <laughs> white worm, I take it. Or are you simply a further peel in this stinking onion? My condolences on the passing of your king.
Where is Prince Aegon? I thought the prince is in Flibottom when no one is to be trusted. I'd best secret him somewhere so in case they come looking for him. Where's the prince? He is safely tucked away. I want an end to the savage use of children in Flea Bottom. She kidnapped them? They're forced to fight and worse. You gold cloaks take the bribes given them to look away. Oh. An obscenity. Either tolerated or ignored by the crown. She's got that bear. So I look into it. But she don't like that junk. You have I don't, no word. I don't disagree with that, you know? Didn't bear say the children are innocent or something like that. When your blood's ripping. And you install your grandson on the front. Mm. Install. Remember, it was me who put him there. I could have killed him as easily as a wasp on fruit. There is no power but what the people allow you to take. I will remember. Oh, she's moving on up, this girl. Otto just threatened her in my mind. He said, I will remember. I'm going to remember you held my grandson. Ransom. Look, the stranger. They're looking away. <laughs> This isn't the Sept of Valor, though, is it? Mm, I don't know. This looks like That's where Rhaenyra and Alicent were at the beginning. <clears throat> Maybe. I feel like you'd be taking some of those. Yeah, if they smoke those. What is he down here? Where is the white worm? She sold you for a price. And why have you paid it? I want my mother. Your grandfather, the hand, will meet you outside the city walls. <laughs> he escaped, but not really. You flee with all the men die, see, can I go on? So he don't want to be king, he was hiding. He just wants to beat off in peace. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just gonna remember him as the king who ejaculated. On King's Landing. That jump was wild when he was standing outside <laughs> the window. Right I ain't never seen nothing like it. Kristen Cole. At least they didn't fall on the sword, you know? He takes that armor off, he gets worse. Oh. I think there's a way. Step away from that. <laughs> I was hoping you disappeared. Is our father truly dead? Yes. And they're going to make you king. Are you going to help me? Spit on the Aren't they about to look crazy? Fighting right now. Where's your brother, huh? Let me go! Brother! Double sword. Let me go! I feel like I pick up a rock. I have no I wish to rule, no taste for duty. I'm not suited. You get no argument from me. Let me go. We'll find a ship and sail away, never to be found. The queen awaits. He was like, no problem, dude. Take the ship. Isn't that crazy? He just d doesn't want to. He's like literally hiding That's under, a hard life. He, under some candles. Yeah, he just wants to screw off, dude, for real. He went to church. <laughs> in the church. Well played. None of this he said, no one will find me here. And yet you treat it as one. A charming contest. The prize, a pouch of silver. We've relied on one another these many years, and now it is the good of the family that we both desire. Whatever our differences, our hearts remain as one. Oh, our hearts were never one. I see that now. Oh. Rather, I've been a piece that you moved about the board. If that is true, then I made you queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Then fine. Would you have desired it otherwise? How could I know? I wanted whatever you impressed upon me to want. And now the debt comes to you. A debt you are happy enough to pay. A sacrifice. A sacrifice made for the stability of the realm. No king has ever lived that hasn't had to forfeit the lives of a few to protect the many, though I understand your squeamishness. Reluctance to murder is not a weakness. I have they gone. We'll proceed now as I see fit. That's right, Grant. We will send terms to Rhaenyra on Dragonstone. True terms, such that she may accept without shame. If she lives. Her allies will mass behind her banners, looking for her return. Then she must not return. My husband would have desired this mercy be shown to his daughter. He did. Or you, his daughter's childhood companion. 
Her is a good person, okay? Kristen Cole will be named Lord Commander of the King's Guard. My son will be anointed tomorrow at dawn. The whole of King's Landing must witness his ascent. He will assume authority. There will be no more dithering. My son will take the crown of his namesake, the Conqueror, and carry Blackfire his sword. Let the people remember the ancient strength of House Targaryen. You look so much like your mother in certain lights. Ew. That was like a power move, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Make demands, you still look like a lady. As you wish. <laughs> Your Grace. The hour is late, Lord Laris. I have found out something you should know. Maybe announce her in there first. I know he's like Laren. Jai this ain't he. He's Wanna like, get rid of him. He's like, he'll grace on both sides. You fire. asked yourself, I wonder how it is that your father, the hand, found Egon first. She just like looked so submissive to his convo. There is a web of spies at work in the Red Keep. Along its threads travels news of all our doings. Your father knows this, but has left it in place. Oh. More than once it has proved advantageous to those willing to feed the weaver. And this weaver watches me. Why is this kind of weirding me out about her feet? I know. She got mm -hmm. castle toes. Once little spiders, it's your lady in waiting. Tell ya. There are more like her. Even I do not know their number. There is one way to destroy his advantage. It must be taken out at the head. When the queen dies, the bees fly without purpose. Begging your pardon for the turn of phrase, your grace. This human task falls within your expertise. If you wish it, it will be done. So she's done this before. She knew she knew where to put it. She done knew. what before? Obviously, she came in, took the stockings off. He ain't said nothing. What is going on here, brother? See, she's looking away. She's ashamed. I might not look at toes anymore the same. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like what? Don't stop massaging mine, though. <laughs> I'm glad you don't wear them big old stockings like she does. These would be clammy. <laughs> so she's low key posting feet pics in Westeros times. <laughs> yeah. By the end of the series, that man's gonna be sucking them toes. <laughs> you wanna be queen? <laughs> wanna be queen? Give me some of them toenails. <laughs> With me, princess. I cannot let this treachery stand. Hell yeah. One of them brothers. <laughs> oh no! They're crazy. Yeah. Man. They gotta go. That is crazy, bro. What's up? We'll do it for you, Viserys. Where are we? Just south of Kingsway. The Blackwater's this way. It'd be scary to trust those dudes, wouldn't it? I know, because what? whose side y'all on? Because clearly you're like on their side because you're dressed that way. Oh no. Somebody's house is on fire. I won't leave my lease. Whose house was that? Am I supposed to know? I, get to the dragon I don't know whose house that was. They'll expect you there, princess. You won't get past the gates. No, come. You must make for the riverfront and find a ship before they know you've gone. This is when we need Davos. This way. I'd just be walking around looking for people with hoods on their head. I would just ask him, can I wear his helmet? That might look weird though, never mind. Hey, if you're in the city, watch, you know. <laughs> if I see a hood on someone's head, I'm suspicious. But they getting herded like some sheep. Where at? Where to? Oh, I'm up there. It was like communists for real, don't it? Do you know what's been done to give you this day? In an hour, you will be king. And my father never wanted this. That's not true. He had 20 years to name the heir, he never did. Steadfastly, he upheld the nearest claim. Change his mind. Wow. <laughs> he could have, but he never did. Because he didn't like me. Oh, so he's resembling yes. it. With his final breath, he whispered to me that you should take his place for the throne. <laughs> <laughs> Who 
His costume was insane. I know. And it it's so Targaryen and cool and like high tower too. Mm -hmm. Do not toy with me, mother. I speak the truth. Hey, let me get a like on the video, guys, if you think Aegon looks like uh what's that dude's name? Uh Evan Peters. Listen to me, Aegon. Does he not? I would have to, your grandfather. Don't dislike it if he doesn't, because I don't think he does. The sword. You must reject this council. You must not rule with cruelty and callousness. For all her fault, she is your sister, your, your father's daughter. Do you love me? He is like Commodus. That's what Commodus asked his sister. She's a new imbecile. <clears throat> She's sitting there explaining, like, please don't allow your sister to be put to the sword. And you don't care about that at all. I know. She just handed him the prophecy blade, like, here, here's this artifact. You don't even know. Yeah. Trying to get him to listen. But you're right, guys. Aegon, not Amon. G before him. <laughs> so that means, like, a meeting? Oh, they're rushing everybody in because they're about to crown the king? I think so. I think they look like... So they're, they're forcing the all the... Yeah, they're forcing the people inside. I think. I could be totally wrong. But. Yeah, because they felt like they were being herded. Is this where they crown the king, though? I don't know. We'll see. People of King's Landing, today is the saddest of days. Our beloved king, Viserys the Peaceful, is dead. That that back road does not hear him. Does not. But it is also the most joyous of days. For as his spirit left us, he whispered his final wish that his firstborn son, Aegon, should succeed him. It's like the game telephone. They was wrong. Todd! Okay, they sit on the horns. What is up? Someone should have accidentally sliced him. <laughs> this is sick. A new day for our realm. A new king to lead us. Kind of badass. Evilness just seems to be falling through this kid, don't it? He looks crazy. He's just gotten a couple fights with some dumpster cats. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I mean? This looks a little rough. How are you feeling, Renice? That was Joffrey and Tywin. Loki. <laughs> this is like some Wakanda. Why? Wow. You have to drink the stuff? No, oh, yeah. Oh, he ain't drinking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's like some Lion King, some Simba. Strength to his sword and shield. May the father defend him in his need. May the crone lift her shining lamp and light his way to wisdom. <laughs> the crown of the conqueror passed down through generations. Oh, he's choosing Aegon's crown. Yeah, that does look like the one from the Lord, don't it, too? That's the crown, the Conqueror's crown. And then Viserys wore, like, a different crown, right? Yeah. She put it on his dead body, so I guess maybe Let it got buried with him. Let the bear witness. Aegon Targaryen is the true heir to the Iron Throne. All hail his grace, Aegon, second of his name, king of the Andals and the Rhoynar and the First Men, lord of the Seven Kingdoms and protector of the realm. Egg on the king! Boo. What do you think the crowd's feeling right now? They seem pretty pro egg on, right? I think it's cool they picked the dragon pits because remember, Daenerys said this is where their house was strong and weak. Yeah, pretty cool. And so I think they're picking it to show some strength here. This is a great place to get everyone riled up. Oh, okay. I'm, not, I'm saying yes because I'm like, let's go, Aegon, but I'm not really like, let's go, Aegon. I feel like he's about to suck. <laughs> I was like, it's really me. Oh, he's liking this. That's a bad sign already, y'all. 
Whoa! Uh. Oh! Who's that, Rhaenyra? Who's that? that? Dragon? It's a red one. Oh! Smacking innocence. Oh. That dragon's head. F Aegon. Yeah, it looked like it just took out some Aegon supporters. Rhaenyra? <gasps> oh, it's Renice. Oh, she looks badass right the now. The queen who never she was. She just ran downstairs. Yeah, uh, we should have known that. Dang. Man, I thought she did. I thought she did too. No, she wanted to go gas up her Chevy. Yeah. But why'd you kill people, Renice? <laughs> Yeah, that was kind of crazy, right? Oh, Dracarys? Oh my gosh. Whatever that meant, you know? Okay, why don't she just let them live then? Is she on their side or not? She could have ended everything for you. She was to come out. <laughs> that dragon needs to get on a diet. I think it was struggling to get up. Dude. What the hell? <laughs> what was that? So basically, <laughs> Renice is not scared to come bust a couple thousand people up, is she? No. Man, maybe maybe it makes a lot more sense why Danny did what she did. <laughs> According to these Targaryens, these people were expendable, baby. Uh, guys, I, I really messed with that episode, man. I love it. It feels like to me, like we are gearing up, bro. Mm -hmm. Like the propaganda is strong. It's all coming down to the word of Alicent. Should we do this real quick? Could you imagine what it would be like to try to explain to people? But, you know, in this world, people just go on with it because they're the authorities that be at the moment. So people just fall in line with the mm -hmm. hierarchy. But if you're Rhaenyra and we didn't even get to see like her reaction. And no, do we even see her in the episode? I No, I don't even think genuinely she was in this one at all. Whoa. So she has no idea about her dad. Dang, you know? now I feel like I just got cheated a little bit. It's almost right. like a Game of Thrones episode without Jamie Lannister in it. Like, what are we doing? Um amazing episode man i thought it was very interesting because we have a rift we have a divide uh Aegon, babe is a piece of crap he likes to get girls pregnant he has babies and then he sharpens their teeth their fangs and throws them in a drag like a fighting pit or something which Wait. is crazy maybe he'd rather do it to his kids than his dragons <laughs> I, don't, I don't know but i just know Aegon is you can just get the vibe that he's not good news but honestly and i don't know much about him but in this in this sequence at the end, he seemed like he thrived off people chanting for him. Which yeah, he was scary. liking that. Yeah, which is he was so scary. against it. But it's, it's scary because he didn't want that until he didn't want it at all. So maybe him having people chant his name will change him. I don't really know. Nah, he's about to be a piece of work. <laughs> this kid's about to be hell. I feel like this is about to be Joffrey 2.0. Uh, but it's very interesting because he doesn't want power. His brother, on the other hand, feels like he deserves it because he trains and studies history and philosophy. And so he basically knows how to out talk everyone and manipulate them. So he thinks he's all educated. He understands human nature, the, the way the universe works. And he thinks that he'd be a better king. And it's really interesting because his brother now is really digging his new title. Yeah. So and I was thinking in a sense, like you might be able to convince your brother to like give it to you. I mean, I know it probably doesn't work that way, but. I don't know now, man. I think all that power and people chanting is just going to go to his head. Right. I don't know what's up with that last scene with Renice. She busted right, through. Right, right. I and thought she was about to kill him. Like, that was do confusing all that. because she, I remember the girl saying like something was going to, didn't she say something was going, a beast is going to pop up or something? She did. She Dude, said, I forget. I always forget. She always predicts the crazy thing. And then in the end of the episode, I forget to mention it. But yeah, she predicted she, that. But what exactly did she say? The floor is going to a beast is gonna come there's a beast under the floor or something like uh, that. yeah something like that but anyway she kind of said that but i wonder why exactly she even thought about that besides like it would kill some civilians I, I, it's not up to her i guess she's just getting those visions from you know a higher power it's not really up to her she's so just, she probably just saw like Aegon's like she's just there thing. to just witness to people what she's seeing and you know and, and i think the whole point of the show is you don't witness those because you take that into account and then you change the future because you have your 
free will. I think it's like a very deterministic show. Like mm-hmm. she's having the visions because even if you tell people, hey, the visions are bad things are going to happen to our family. And even if they try to like fix it and make it better, those good intentions inevitably lead to like the downfall. It's like inevitable. In a way. Yeah. So that's the vibe that I'm getting. So. Well, I think that episode was all about the greens. Um, basically just what they have going on. Uh, obviously, Otto it has a lot on his he has a lot on his plate that he's not sharing with his daughter Allison and it seems to me that Otto is sneakier than we definitely thought well yeah definitely like uh, as soon as the king dies their intentions are to immediately find the successor don't let anybody know don't let Rainier get word of it don't let word like don't even basically don't even give anyone time to spread a rumor like maybe he was murdered anything like that just right. immediately crown a new king as soon as possible and then you know it's kind of cruel i'm sure if you question the death of the former king he'll just have your tongue so very interesting man i'm loving it and then obviously the uh the whispering lady yeah uh, bears 2.0 I, I forget her name because she has such a difficult name but... um masaria is that it masaria masaria is that sound right I, sounds right. I could be wrong on that but it's it sounds like masaria maybe but she is really confusing because I feel like she knew, like, you know, that girl lit that sign to her. So she knew. So when she was kind of showing her flex that she knew to Otto, Otto was kind of showing, it seemed like they might work together. Her and Otto, I don't know. I don't exactly know. Or, I was or getting she works the vibe, Laris. But see, I was getting the vibe that, yeah, maybe so. Maybe one Laris. of the two she works with because she works with someone sneaky behind the scenes, and Allison has Laris as the sneaky, and Otto was just the sneaky. So I don't. Do know. you think Otto knows about the kid pits? I mean, he has to know, right? Oh, right? I mean, he's got he's got little birds. Anyways, I don't know. I don't Some know. Some of his little birds probably get thrown in there. <laughs> I like her character because she's such a mystery. Because I, at first I was getting, I don't know, man. Because I get the vibe that she's working against Damon, which in a sense means that. She's not really aligned with Renair, Renair but yeah. she hates what the future king's doing. So right, but she was also wearing green in this episode. So mm-hmm. I noticed that, and I was like, okay, maybe she's playing the green side. Well, did it seem? And this is totally off subject, but did it not seem like Allison really cared about the king to you? In this episode, honestly, it kind of did. To it me, it seemed like she was really more. I, that was the vibe I was getting before. It seemed like she really did value the king in some weird type of way because even when rainier was telling her how much she appreciates the fact that even though they have their differences she has stood by the king and taken mm. care of him that really moved her in a way and yeah. it wasn't until the kids got into like a little fight and i think that's why when they were on the search for aegon and and she wanted to get to aegon first because she wanted to make sure that rainier doesn't get killed and because if otto was the first one otto would have ordered it yeah yeah, yeah. and so yeah. and so i feel like that's because that's her friend and at the end of the day, Allison respects Rhaenyra because not only is it her friend, it's her kid's sister, her husband's first daughter. Like they right. just have history and it's And she's lived a life of duty and, and and even though she's doing so many things, so many bad things, guys, and I'm pretty sure as the series goes on, I'm sure Allison will just fall deeper and She'll deeper. She'll have to into change. Darkness. She will have to because right. I feel like she's gonna, my prediction is she's gonna cover for Aegon a lot. She's gonna have right. to. She's and she's to probably going to use the narrative that she's doing it because it's you she know it's him. out of honor and because that's her whole narrative is everything she does is it's out of honor and it's out of duty and all that stuff. But it seems like she's using that as like a double edged sword. And it's really annoying how they keep gaslighting Rhaenyra because they're they'll say Aegon uh, as soon as she gets older she's going to order the hit to kill your kids. Fast forward she's not doing any of that. They're ordering. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just keep gaslighting her. Everything they're going to say that she's going to do they're turn around and they're saying oh well she'll do that so I have to preemptively do it first and right. it's just. You know, but I do like how the Viserys's final words painted the difference in the, the. You know how we said things that are good for the realm are also like good for individuals. Yes, and yeah. like how they painted Alicent to feel like she was really listening to Viserys and his final wishes, but Rhaenyra because she's protecting the legacy. So it's just like the battle between them so interesting. You would imagine on some level she could just get together with Alicent and explain what's going on, and they could find some type of resolution, but. I, I it's know. hard when you just you just pick the king like you just pick the king over like what's your you're the heir like, right so basically she just got her job stolen from her and has no idea right i'm really excited to see the way renera and damon respond to all this um I, like i said I, I don't know why renice decided to kill so many people in the middle of king's landing that was right. just kind of weird to me it kind of made it seem and kind of like, out of character for her well i thought you she's know. been she's been very like 
hell bent on I don't really want to be the queen or anything like that. I just want my kids and my family to have drift mark and it be in ours and dude, she that's what's confusing because in my mind I thought she was gonna sort of team up with Allison, babe, because she accused Rhaenyra of of basically conspiring to kill her son. Right. So and then she, but I don't get why she would interrupt his ceremony like that and so publicly challenge him. Then not burn them. You don't think it's because Allison like shielded her son and she's like, oh, mother to mother. Like, May, it that'd be kind of silly. It right? could have been that. Know. It could have been that. She would have had, but I mean, she could easily, she could easily just sprayed the whole group right there and no one would have known nothing. But you know what I'm saying? Like, that was confusing. But yeah. in a way, maybe it makes Renice want to like reinstate her claim because that little hype speech was kind of like, you know, there was like a hype speech between her and Allison. Like, you deserve to be queen. We all know it. Well, I like, think, I think. What Rene what Renice may have been doing, maybe she exploded with her dragon to basically show them I haven't really made a decision. I'm not saying yeah, I'm not saying no, but one thing that's not gonna happen is you're not gonna chain me up in a room and treat me as if I don't contain one of these dragons. Like right. I have a dragon, I will use it. Right. Don't try to treat me when she had on the armor though, to me it felt don't like Don't treat more. me like common folk. Yeah. I'm above common folk. I have a dragon. Right. So yeah, maybe maybe that's what it was. So uh anything else? No, I mean, I'm ready to get into it. I, I mean, one. we have to watch the next one right now. Let's go. All right, guys. So this is the Black Queen. This is the season finale, episode 10. Then we're going to be on season two, episode one. Thank you guys so much. Let's go. Let's go. Was that as crazy as, as episode nines usually are? Or not really. I mean, there was no death. It was just moving. There was no death. Right. There was no death. Kristen Cole killed somebody else again because he's oh, wild. Bees bury. Yeah. I bees in the trap. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Ready to fly off to Renee's. Hey, Renice, where are you going? <laughs> where are you parking that F-150? I don't know what you're doing, Renice. Man, I'm, dude, shoosh, I'm ready to go. I am ready to go. War is, war is starting. That's what I'm saying. That's the Y'all done jacked up with Rhaenyra, y'all. <clears throat> One thing about this show that I'll, I will say I really like is I like the way they're building up the conflict in this yeah. one. You know, I, I like the way they built up the conflict. And, it's hard to say, man. I understand this world better now. When Otto, I was so overwhelmed. When Otto killed off those um, Rhaenyra supporters, I knew it was time. It's when when Renice had on that armor. It's time we gotta go. Mm -hmm. We gotta go. But yeah, love in the same universe. Love in the same universe doesn't have to be Game of Thrones. I'm glad it's a different story. Yeah. Game of Thrones was such a journey. It was such a story. You know, this one's more internal. Pull it. You know, politics. Favorite character so far? Who? <laughs> I don't have one yet. You don't have one yet? Mm -mm. How about you? Um, I like Lord Corliss. I like Damon. <gasps> oh, I like Rhaenyra. Maybe. I like a lot of the other characters on the other side, too, in terms of characters, but... Well, I like everybody. It's just I don't really have a favorite quite yet. Yeah, you about to be the ruler. He's gonna be the only there person out there getting sick on that boat. The sea snake is going to die, isn't he? Luke. It can't be Lord of the Tides. Grandsire was the greatest sailor who ever lived. I get green sick before the ship even leaves the harbor. I'll just ruin everything. I don't want Driftmark. It should have passed on to Sir Vaymond. We don't choose our destiny, Luke. It chooses us. Well, it can't anymore, Grandsire, let you choose whether you be his heir. You told us. And. Do you want to know the truth of it? I was frightened. I was four and ten. Same as you are now. I wasn't ready to be queen of the Seven Kingdoms, but it was my duty. And in time, I came to understand I had to earn my inheritance. I'm not like you. In what way, sweet boy? I'm not so perfect. Aww. No. I mean, she's made mistakes. Well, that's sweet that they don't think that she has. I am anything but. My father looked after me and helped to prepare me for my duties. Your mother will do the same for you. She's kind. Like she has no idea princess. about her father. Good morrow, Sir Laurent. Princess Renice has just arrived on Dragonback. She urgently requests an audience with you and Prince Damon. Oh, he thinks it's about him. Oh, true. The Princess Rhaenys Targaryen. Thank you, Sir Laurent. Princess Rhaenys, might we hope for news of Lord Corliss's recovery? Viserys is dead. Oh, no. 
I grieve this loss with you, Rhaenyra. My cousin, your father, possessed a kind heart. That's better grace than she showed uh, Allison. Right. There is more. Because <clears throat> she's thinking she's going to take over. Egon has been crowned as his successor. <laughs> they crowned him. How did Viserys die? I could not say. How long ago? The day passed, perhaps two. I was made a prisoner in my quarters while the Queen made her preparations. Viserys has been slain. Oh. Mm. Alison demanded you declare for Egon. She did. Wow. Well. I refused her. And yet you are alive. Yeah, because of a dragon. The High Septon crowned Egon oh. in the dragon pit. I witnessed it myself just before I fled on Melis. They crowned him. Before the masses. So that the masses would see him as their rightful king. That whore of a queen murdered my brother and stole his throne, and you could have burnt more for it. Yeah, why didn't you? war is like to be fought over this treachery, to be sure. Mm. But that war is not mine to begin. Straight up. Oh, I only rush yeah. this warning to you out mm. of loyalty to my husband and to my house. The Greens are coming for you, Rhaenyra. Oof. And for your children. Mmm. You should leave Dragonstone at once. This is intense right here. Oh, oh. No. Is she bleeding? Oh. It's time to give birth. Baby's coming. Oh, my goodness. Her term is far from complete. This should not be happening. Oh, it is no. fucking happening. <laughs> Jeez. Keep your head about it, princess. Keep coming. We've done this five times before. This scares me. The spirit and the sixth will be different. Oh, get off, get off, get off. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, why does every freaking episode have this in it? I Good want patrols god. along the island's perimeter looking for any small ships that might set a ship. If the Greens attack now, it will be by stealth, not directly. Oh. We don't have enough men to surround the island, but we can make ourselves appear stronger than they are. That's where her battlefield is. Conscript the dragon keepers. They're capable fighters. Waste no time. It will be done, my prince. <laughs> Don't need all the practice. Dang, my lord. <laughs> Your lady mother needs to see you. Both of you. Oh, mother. Oh no. Princess. She reminds me of her mom in episode one in this one. I know for a fact, my ass couldn't handle a kidney stone. Your grandsire, King Viserys, has passed. Viserys? The Greens have repudiated the succession and claimed the Iron Throne. Egon has been crowned king. What is to be done about it? Nothing yet. And where is Damon? I don't know. Gone to madness. Mm -hmm. Gone to plot his war. Mm -hmm. Leave Damon with me. Jace. Jaceris! Whatever claim remains to me, you are now its heir. Naught is to be done but by my command. I'm hoping she's not thinking she's about to die, because <sighs> geez Louise. <sighs> Raven flew in this morning. The sea snake's fever is broken and he has left even for. Where is he sailing? That much is unclear, my prince. He's I? Right? We'll send ravens to our nearest allies. Lords Darkling, Massey, and Bar Emon. Do you want to speak to the Maester, my prince? I'll fly to the Riverlands myself and affirm Lord Tully's support. You will do no such thing. My mother has decreed no action be taken while she's abed. Oh. Good you're here, young prince. <laughs> Let's step on. You're needed to patrol the skies on Vimax. Did you hear what I said? The ravens, Lord Bartimus. Oh, we can't ask to listen to him, don't we? I shall see it done. Summon to Yeah, because Damon will slap his little ass. Needed on the drag. Come with me. I'll show you the true meaning of loyalty. Oh. So Jaceris rides on Vermix. You swore an oath as knights of the King's Guard. As do all who wear the white cloak, my prince. To whom? I swore first to King Jehadis, and then to his grace, King Viserys, when he succeeded him. Do you acknowledge the guys. true line of success? Yes. Yes, my prince. Do you recall when King Viserys named as his heir before his death? 
Princess Renera. I'm grateful for your long service to the Crown. So I'm presenting you with a choice. <clears throat> it's like... <laughs> oh, sneaky neck. <laughs> Swear anew your oath to Rhaenyra as your queen. To Prince Deceres as the heir to the Iron Throne. <laughs> or, if you support the usurper, speak it now. Not then you will have choice, a clean and honourable death. But if you choose treachery, if you swear fealty now, only to later turn your cloaks, know that you will die. This is like a Ned and a Bran teaching moment. Princess, let us help you. Yeah, you ain't you ain't lying about that. Get out! Telling her to get out. Let us help no, she's telling them to get out. Oh. She don't want them to see her like this. She's weak. Oh, dude, I can't do this. Bro. Oh no, man. Ah, dude. Oh man. No. That's so sad, bro. So that new stressed her out that bad that that happened? That sucks. Bro, I ain't trying to see that. That's too much. Oh my goodness. <sighs> oh no. So he's gonna be triple mad at this point. This is intense, man. Kid named Aegon, right? Yeah, I think he's like baby, baby, though. Baby, yeah. I mean no harm, brothers. You got a laptop case. Oh. I swear to ward the queen. Damn. She like needed that With all today. My strength, and give my blood for hers. I shall take no wife, hold no lands, father no children. I shall guard her secrets, obey her commands. Insane. Ride at her side and defend her name and honor. Aww. My queen. She was tough. No I know, that was so sweet. They didn't look scared to do it. You know what I'm saying? Oh my Let's gosh. Let's go, Renice. Cause she ain't about to bow, but she's there. Dang. Come on, just bow. That's that was good, good wasn't it? <clears throat> you alright, sweetie pie? Ooh, that one was, that was intense. This is an intense finale. Wow. I love the way this is shot. Strategy it's time, baby. Time. It's war time. Wow. Whoa. Oh, they're putting a fire under it. That's so cool. That's tough. Queen Rhaenyra Targaryen, the first of her name. Queen of the Andals and the Rhoynar and the First Men. Lady of the Seven Kingdoms and protector of the realm. Your Grace. <laughs> Wine, my queen. 
They're new to this. <laughs> They're working <laughs> out the kings. What is our standing? We have 30 knights, 100 crossbow men, and 300 men at arms. Dragonstone is relatively easy to defend, but as an instrument of conquest, our army leaves a lot to be desired. I've sent word to my loyal men in the city watch. I'll have some support there, but I cannot speak to the numbers. We already have yeah, declarations from Kelty Gar and Staunton, Massey, Darkland, Barimon. My lady mother was an Aaron. The Vale will not turn cloak against their own kin. River Run was always a close friend to your father, Your Grace. With Prince Damon's acquiescence, I've already sent ravens to Lord Grover. He's on it, dog on it. Lord Grover is fickle and easily swayed. He will need to be convinced of the strength of our position. And that we will support him should it come to war. I'm going to treat with him myself. What of Storm's End and Winterfell? There has never lived a Stark who forgot an oath, and with how Stark a North will follow. Lord Boros Baratheon will need to be reminded of his father's promises. Are they trying to get some Baratheons? <laughs> oh, some stags. But those two hate each other, don't they? What news from yeah. Driftmark? Lord Cooler sails for Dragonstone. To declare for his queen. The Valarian fleet is in my husband's yoke. He decides where they sail. We shall pray for both you and your husband's support, just as we prayed nightly for the Sea Snake's return to good health. There's no port on the narrow sea would dare to make an enemy of the Valarian fleet. And our enemies. We have no friends among the Lannisters. Tyland has served the hand too long to turn against mm -hmm. them. And Otto Hightower needs the Lannister fleet. Without the Lannisters, we're not like to find any allies west of the Golden Tooth. No. The Riverlands are essential, Your Grace. Oh, they need, like, the east. They forgive my bluntness, They need it for, like, the location, the I guess. It's moot. Your cause owns a power that has not been seen in this world since the days of old Valyria. Dragons. The Greens have dragons. They have three well. adults, by my count. We have Cyrax, Caraxes, and Melis. Your sons have <laughs> Veermax, Arax, and Tyraxes. Bela has Moondancer. Damon, none of our dragons have been to war. There are also unclaimed dragons. Sea Smoke still resides on Driftmark. Vermithor and Silverwing dwell on the Dragon Mount, still riderless. Then there are the three wild dragons, all of whom nest here. And who is to ride them? Dragonstone has 13 to their four. I also have a score of eggs incubating in the Dragon Mount. No. <laughs> we need a place to gather, a toehold, large enough to house a sizable host. Here at Harren Hall, we cut off the west, surround King's Landing with the dragons, and we could have every greenhead mounted on spikes before the fucking moon turned. Your Grace. A ship has been sighted offshore. A long galleon flying a banner of a three-headed green dragon. Alert the watchtowers, sight the skies. Dang, Damon's like, let's go. <laughs> yeah, he's a whole different person for Rhaenyra, ain't he? Yeah, he's ready like... to defend her. He he's loves ready. her. I guess that's his, like, true love. I just turned, like, Team Black instantly in this um, Yeah, episode. me too. Green <laughs> sucks, guys. Sorry. I was trying to be so, like, you know... I'm trying to be open-minded, but I'm Team yeah. Black, baby. I love Rhaenyra at this yeah. point. I like Damon. Even though I probably shouldn't. Oh, this is, like, episode, you know, one of the first oh, couple yeah, ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When Rhaenyra and Damon met. Mm. Well, yeah, when I come screwed, at the behest the of the Dowager Queen Alicent, mother of King Aegon, second of his name, Lord and Protector of the Seven Kingdoms. I've been directed to deliver her message only to Princess Rhaenyra. Where is the princess? Is that her? Oh. Is that well, her I thought dragon? they were protecting her, but heck no. Oh, she ain't the princess, buddy. She's the queen. Dang, she walked through their army too. Didn't yeah. She? Jeez. Power move. Princess Rhaenyra. I'm Queen Rhaenyra now. And you all are traitors to the realm. King Aegon Targaryen, second of his name, in his wisdom and desire for peace, <laughs> is offering terms. Acknowledge Aegon as king and swear obeisance before the Iron Throne. In exchange, his grace will confirm your possession of Dragonstone. It will pass to your true-born son, Daenerys, upon your death. Daenerys will be true confirmed born. as the legitimate heir to Driftmark and all the lands and holdings of House Valarian. Your sons by Prince Daemon will also be given places of high honor at court. Aegon the Younger as the King's squire, Viserys as his cupbearer. Finally, the king in his good grace will pardon any knight or lord who conspired against his ascent. You believe I would him? rather feed my sons to the dragons than have them carry shields and cups for your drunken usurper of a king. 
Aegon Targaryen sits the Iron Throne. I believe him. He wears the Conqueror's crown, wields the Conqueror's sword, has the Conqueror's name. He was anointed by a Septon of the Faith before the eyes of thousands. Every symbol of legitimacy belongs to him. And then there is Stark, Tully, Baratheon, houses that have also received and are at present considering generous terms from their good houses. Stark, Tully and Baratheon all swore to me when King Viserys named me his heir. Stale oaths will not put you on the Iron Throne, Princess. You better back up. The succession changed the day your father sired a son. I only regret that you and he were the last to see the truth of it. You are no more hand than Egon is king. King traitor. <gasps> He's probably like 12 of them in his office. He's probably like... <laughs> yeah, but they're right back on. Grand Maester. Mm. Allison. That's when they were talking, and they were talking about uh, Queen that Allison woman. has not forgotten mm -hmm. the love you once yeah. had for each other. No blood need be spilled. The realm can carry on in peace. Queen Allison eagerly awaits your answer. She could have her answer now, stuffed in her father's mouth. Let's end this mama's fast. <laughs> That's kind of what I was going to say. So Eric, bring farts. me Lord Hightower so I may take the pleasure myself. Dragons are out. No. Damon ain't about that junk, is he? That's who you want on your team King's right landing there. will have my answer on the morrow. Okay. I like this Rhaenyra music. Is this what this is? The oh. oh. <laughs> like the, the angel music. Yeah. When Allison comes along, it's like, get the damn with the sword. Now it's when Aegon pops up. I like this battle plan, though. Send them on and then start your plan. It's no easy thing for a man to be a dragon slayer. But dragons can kill dragons and have. The simple truth is this we have more dragons than Aegon. Viserys spoke often of the Valyrian histories. I know them well. When dragons flew to war, everything burned. Mm -hmm. I do not wish to rule over a kingdom of ash and bone. Are you considering the High Tower's terms? As Queen, what is my true duty to the realm, Lord Bartimus? Ensuring peace and unity, or that I sit the Iron Throne no matter the cost. What's your father talking? My father's dead, and he chose me as his successor. Not even you. To defend <laughs> the realm, not cast it headlong into war. Well, the enemy have declared war. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, I'm kind of with David on that. He just sit there and wait for the storm to come. You in the doghouse, Dami? Great Dame. <laughs> Does the promise of war excite you? You cannot bend the knee to the High Towers. They stole your birthright. If you could take the Iron Throne without putting Otto Hightower's head on a spike, would you? Are you not angry? Well, I should declare war because I'm angry. No, because it's your duty as Queen to crush rebellion. You know my oath reaches beyond our personal ambitions. A song of ice and fire. Oh, you, you don't, don't know, know it. The coming war against the darkness in the north, the conqueror's dream. Sarah shared it with me when he named to me. <laughs> My brother was a slave to his omens and portents. Anything to make his feckless reign appear to have purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Dreams didn't make us kings. Dragons did. Dude. Damon's always going to take the cynical approach, ain't he? No, he's definitely Team Dragons when Viserys was Team... Um, yeah, Viserys was Team Dreamer. He just believes in force and power, huh? I never told you. To be honest, I thought he was about to choke slammer. I know, throw in the fire. Does he... No, Rhaenyra, so it's like for real then. Damon's a less curious individual than I am, because I'd have had to know. Unless he does know. No, nah, he don't know. He said, what? Don't listen to that dragon. Choke, choke, choke. Hey. Glad you're doing better, brother. Aww. I've had men whipped for falling asleep on their watch. You are no man. He said something about that damn you iron throne. Me. When I most needed you. Both our children stolen from us. I needed you. Oh my gosh. Baylor yeah. and Raina needed you, and you abandoned us for more adventure at sea. 
Because there's always been your way. Their son's like I that too. No place to turn. I'd lost everything. We lost callers. We. I understand we have a new king. A stranger casts a long shadow over this family. That means like death, right? Your brother is also dead. <gasps> oh shoot, he didn't know. In his haste to bury you and claim your seat, he stood before the king and denounced and Damon cut his as head off. Damon took his head for it. <sighs> oh. Not another house divided. Heedless ambition has always been a Valarian weakness. Oh, he understands. You are right, Rhaenys. I reached too far. And for nothing. Our pursuit of the Iron Throne is at an end. It was kind of just yours for a while there, though. We shall declare for no one. She already had. Retire to high tide to be content with our grandchildren. Jace, and Luke, and Joff are claimants to the throne. Those boys will not be safe so long as they're gone as king. Rhaenyra was complicit in our son's death. That girl destroys everything she touches. That girl is holding the realm together at present. Every man standing around the painted table urges her to plunge the realm into war. Rhaenyra is the only one who's demonstrated restraint. So she's saying, like, kind of on their side, Easy maybe. Words for a lord who commands from the safety of his castle. Doesn't make it the lord of the time. She's like, I don't love it, but what else are we gonna Paul do? Paul Valarian and his wife, the princess Rhaenys Targaryen. My lords. Oh, they're wearing gloves. I'm very sorry about your father, princess. He was a good man. Where is Damon? There were other concerns which demanded the prince's attention. So yeah, he ducking me. <laughs> Your declared allies? Yes. Too few to win a war for the throne. Well, we would also hope to have the support of houses Aaron, Baratheon, and Stark. Hope is the fool's ally. Both Aaron and Baratheon share blood with my house, but all of them swore oaths to me. As did House Hightower, if I remember. As did you, Lord Corliss. Oh. Come on, Grandpa Sea Snake. Your father's realm was one of justice and honor. Our houses are bound by common blood and common cause. This high tower treason cannot stand. Let's go, Corliss. You have the full support of our fleet and house. <clears throat> Your grace. I would have been pissed if he died. What was best for his grandkids at this point? Yeah. Yeah, good job, man. I'm glad that you You honor me, Lord Corliss. Me too. But, as I said to my bannermen, I made a promise to my father to hold the realm strong and united. If war's first stroke is to fall, it will not be by my hand. You do not mean to act. Taking caution does not mean standing fast. I wish to know who my allies are before I send them to war. Good strategy. Figure out what you're doing first. Right. Love it. The consequence of my near demise in the Stepstones is that we now control them. Oh. I took care to fully garrison the territory this time. A total blockade of the shipping lanes will be in place in days, if not already. The Triarchy have been routed. The Narrow Sea is ours. If Dang. we further seal the gullet, we can cut off all seaborne travel and trade to King's Landing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And cut Should off the whole east. control the gullet myself. Okay. When we drain the Narrow Sea, we can surround King's Landing, lay siege to the Red Keep, and force the Green surrender. If we're to have enough swords to surround King's Landing, we must first secure the support of Winterfell, the Eyrie, and Storm's End. I'll prepare the ravens, Your Grace. We nice. should bear those mysteries. Dragons can fly faster than ravens, and they're more convincing. Yeah. And then that could be an ally forever because they did it. Send us. The prince is right, Your Grace. Babe, hold on. I have to say something real quick to you. What's up? Do you think it's crazy that so the, so Corliss and Renice came and they pledged this fealty to Rhaenyra mm -hmm. and they think like she might have had a doing in killing their son, but they have no idea that she like loved their son in a way like that. It should they, that she literally spared him to like save him yeah, they and have they just no have idea. no idea, but they no still clue. did all that. Like right. that would mean so much more if they knew and she still is not telling them. I think. Yeah, in their mind, they're definitely just doing their duty to their grandkids. And I think they also think it's best for the realm. 
and also Renice like Renice like made sure to say that Jason, Lucerus, and Joff were also like their grandkids. Mm. She did. She made sure to let, let everyone know, including us, the audience, that they're legitimate to her. Coralis is over there, just like. I mean, you got to feel for him, right? Yeah. He's like, what the hell? I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying? That poor dude. He did not sign up for all these stepkids, step grandkids, and all this. Very well. Kind of dangerous, says, though. We'll fly north. First to the Eyrie to see my mother's cousin, the Lady Jane Arryn, and then to Winterfell to treat with Lord Craig and Stark for the support of the north. Prince Lucerys will fly south to Storm's End and treat with Lord Boros Baratheon. We must remind these lords of the oaths they swore and the cost of breaking them. Dang, they're about to go far over here. Yeah, they're about to go shore up these allies so we can go to war, baby. I love her earrings so much. It's been said that as Targaryens, we are closer to gods than to men. The Iron Throne puts us a touch closer, perhaps. But if we are to serve the Seven Kingdoms, we must answer to their god. If you take this errand, you go as messengers, not as warriors. You must take no part in any fighting. Swear it to me now, under the eyes of the Seven. Oh, she's for real. Then they gotta put the hand on it. I swear it. Oh, I swear it. Thank you. He seemed like he was gonna get in a little bit of a scrap. Who, the young one? Craig and the old Stark one. Oh. is <laughs> close to your age than to mine. I would hope that as men, we can find some common interest. Yes, Your Grace. Storm's End is a short flight from here. You have Baratheon blood from your grandmother, Rhaenys. And Lord Boros is an eternally proud man. You'll be honored to host a prince of the realm. And his dragon. I expect you will receive a very warm welcome. The man's growing up, ain't yes, he? Mm -hmm. Your Grace. They look Baratheons. Go to it then. That's so crazy. Uh, the poor Raven's out of a job. Dang, I wish I had a dragon. I'd ride that thing out to the mailbox. <laughs> you just like the sing in the dungeons? Oh, he sings? That's kind of nice. That's why Jessica called my rock star. I'm gonna picture him. <laughs> Is he singing to the eggs or something? It does not like it. What did you think it was gonna be like? Nah, that's exactly what I thought was about to happen. <laughs> it was about to light the ceiling up. That's what they always do. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's not his. That's those untamed dragons he was talking about. Oh, he thinks it likes that song. That was crazy. I wish I knew the lyrics to what that song meant. His dragon's kind of small, though, compared to some of them. Yeah, because he looks, like, kind of big on it. <laughs> oh, it's so cute, though. Oh, hell no! <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> That thing is huge. I am Prince Lucerus Valorian. I bring a message to Lord Boris from the Queen. 
Just one time in my life, I want to be greeted like that. You know what I mean? Just a couple of knights walking me in somewhere. Why? So they can chop you up? They don't like you? Prince Lucerius Valarian. Oh, uh oh no. Cotton Eye Joe is there. Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen. Luboros. I brought you a message from my mother. The Queen. Yet earlier this day, I received an envoy from the King. Which is it? King or Queen? The House of the Dragon does not seem to know who rules it. <laughs> What's your mother's message? I'd be like, I left it on my dragon. I'll be right back. Kind of was. I left it in the dragon. <laughs> Where's the bloody Maester? Is this the Baratheon dude? It is, right? Yeah, I think he's in Storm's End to yeah. be like, hey, remember that oath you swore? Or someone did that you know? Remind me of my father's oath. King Egon at least came with an offer. My swords and banners for a marriage pack. If I do as your mother bids, which one of my daughters will you wed? Boy. My lord, I'm not free to marry. I'm already betrothed. So you come with empty hand. Dang. Go home, pup. And tell your mother that the Lord of Storm's End is not some dog that she can whistle up at need to set against her foes. I guess it'll be your head then. Right. I shall take your answer to the Queen, my lord. Wait! My lord strong. Uh, uh-uh. Mm-mm. Did you really think that you could just fly about the realm? trying to steal my brother's throne at no cost. I will not fight you. I came as a messenger, not a warrior. Fight would be little challenge. No. I want you to put out your eye. Oh. oh. It's payment for mine. That's the Night King's son. One will serve. That's what I was about to say, <laughs> yeah. I would not blind you. I plan to make a gift of it to my mother. No. Then you are craven as well as a traitor. Not here. Give me your eye, or I will take it, boss. Not in my hall. The boy came as an envoy. I'll not have blood shed beneath my roof. Tell him. Take Prince Lucerus back to his dragon. Now. And if you don't like it, Eamon, he'll grab his hammer and hit you in the chest with it. Dragon's like, how'd it go? Oh, the big one's gone. Look, you might have say, the Hossein of the Rex, Likiri, Ritas, Ribas. He has some handlebars on it. I can't think of how they got that weather grip on it. I think that thing was Loki telling him, maybe we shouldn't fly. It's like raining. This is stressing me out. <gasps> Whoa! The size difference. Heyman's on that butt now, boy. <laughs> Quit playing, y'all. It's too dangerous up there. The only thing they're playing is about to try to kill him. These kids are too much. They are reckless. Well, not, not all of them, but mainly just, you know. I don't think it was Lucerius' fault. He just was like, yeah, I did take your eye. But I was like five. Oh, he can't fit. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just don't understand. 
understand how that rain's not stinging that eyeball. I was on a roller coaster one time when it was raining, and oh my god, I thought I was gonna put holes in my face. Mm -mm. Oh no, I just did that without him telling him to. Nice. Whoa, what a shot. I know. Well, he's above it all. Ooh. Where'd Vagar go? Oh! Oh my god! Shut up. The little boy? That's like Viserys. Remember he was saying that the dragons really have the power? Why are you looking scared for? You wanted that to happen, did you not? I think he just wanted his eye. I think he knew that that's like really bad. Yeah, I mean, I could tell he didn't want the Rhaenyra dragon. Rhaenyra is him, not going to be able to hear this. Shoot. How are they even going to know? We'll never return, right? She has to act now. She has to. Is this? Oh my God! This is him telling her right now. Oh my God! And she's gonna feel like it's her fault because she sent him. She's gonna feel like she underestimated the brutality of them. Or she just didn't expect him to be there because that's. I think that's what happened. He was shocked when he pulled up. They didn't expect the marriage proposal. I guess. Ooh. I didn't do it. Oh my gosh. Man, she just pierced into my soul right there. Jeez. Uh, wow. babe, first impressions, babe, Hold right off the bat. What do you think about season one? Insane. Like we just have, you know, Rhaenyra was just like being applauded for not, sh not attacking, showing restraint. And now I feel like she has no choice but to do it. So season one geared us up for war and we have to go now. This season was awesome man the time jumps all that stuff in hindsight it didn't it didn't bother me it got us exactly to where we are at this point in time uh, the stories unfolded beautifully i think that in the words of brand you're exactly where you needed to be dude i just think that the way they just portrayed that whole last scene with when she was when she slow turned and they looked at the camera, man. That was just, that was bone chilling. Mm -hmm. I feel like in her mind now, the pacifist stage is over. I feel like she's going to be willing to do whatever it needs to happen to destroy this family. Because they didn't attack their kid, her innocent little baby, man. That was, you know, it wasn't her youngest well, son. but that was the heir to Driftmark. Yeah. So, you guys undone it. Well, and it just so happens that Lord Corliss is okay now. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, they have time to find another heir, which isn't good to say, but. All right, my mouth is dry. Go ahead. Right, but um, so you know that one was also um, betrothed to either Raina or Bela, one of the two. So that really sucks for them. That's gonna hurt to hear. But Rhaenyra, um, geez, Louise, and they lost a dragon in the war. <gasps> yes, and that just goes to show how dangerous Vagar is because I know they have multiple dragons, but I mean, how how big are they compared to him? Right, he was a and monster. That's, that's what I think they were saying because Damon was saying, yeah, we have, all, we have all these dragons, la la la, and Rhaenyra's like, yeah, we have dragons, but we don't have ones that are battle tested. And Vagar is one because yeah. he was on, uh, what, one of Aegon the Conqueror's times. Yeah. That little dragon was like a baby, wasn't it? Yeah. He was even sitting there telling him like, don't be scared, don't be nervous. The dragon, and it really goes to like humanize the dragons in that way. They really do give them so many like human like qualities. So I know he was like, focus, focus, like because the storm, I guess, was gonna be tough. The oh man. So I, the thing about the greens that I really like is obviously they're not to be liked, but the way that they're almost going about so unapologetically buying into this fake narrative they've set for themselves mm -hmm. is almost like sick in a way you know what i mean yeah. and it's very weird allison is such a strange girl to me i mm -hmm. don't believe that she believes what he was saying i mean i think that she understands he was just high and jacked up but she's using but that she to, wants to believe it yeah well, she wants to believe it to fuel Aegon's claim i've never lied to myself that much so i don't really know <laughs> right. what it's like to do that i mean at least without noticing i was you know 
I, I definitely try not to, but she is completely psychotic in my in my mind. I mean, she's crazy because she knows the game she's playing. She yeah. knows the people she has in her circle. And she keeps playing this thing where she's trying to put herself above it all, but she's really not. And you can see her falling deeper and deeper into blame, really. So. Right. I think having Laris in her corner really is showing that she she's kind of playing the game herself. Uh, yeah, because, dude, like... You're really doing she's some... She's putting her toes on the line. Yeah, you're she? putting your toes all <laughs> on the line. And mm. the thing was, is, like, it looked like she's familiar with doing so because... She did the quick, let me take the stockings off. He didn't have to say nothing. He didn't say, hey, it's toe time. She just knew. Toe time? <laughs> yeah, he. when you stand by the fireplace and you get the slow turnaround, it's toe time, baby. Baby, let's not tell him about our toe time. <laughs> just kidding, guys. I know how literal y'all can be. Yeah, but but you guys know. So, so basically, we are getting really set up for the greens versus the blacks. Essentially, yeah. And it's... It, it was showed by restraint. Rhaenyra was just trying to say, like, remember, you guys swore your houses to me. I'm not trying to be queen of the ashes. We, we've heard that before. Um, right. Because when two dragons go to war, it's going to be the ashes. But to me, that seems like kind of what, Viser like you said, what Viserys said, we don't control them. And that was showed right here that they said the doom was created by the dragons. And so if they start a war, maybe the doom could happen again. And he was someone who really loved his studies and stuff. You know, that's why he would sit there and daydream about old Valyria while, you know, not really involving himself in the concerns of the kingdom that was present. Right. And he was such a, you know, he was such a student of the history and stuff. So I feel like he has a, he has an understanding of like the the dragon nature, if that makes sense. Like a lot of people understand human nature better than others, you know, people who study it and people who can put themselves in that perspective. But he's a dragon whisperer, essentially. So I, I really thought that was cool. I love that the dragons actually dislike each other also in that right. sense. I don't know why that little dragon pulled up and took a shot though. Like, why did he? Why did he attack well, him? Well, I, I feel like because maybe he was just scared. Maybe he just was like, oh, I'm just trying to fight my for my house and my owner. <laughs> <laughs> Dracarys, yeah. and then there he Dracarys the wrong one. I mean, sometimes it's okay to flee. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> sometimes you got to get out of there. What is your favorite moment so far of House of Dragons? Okay. House of the Dragon. Okay, so I have two. I can name them right off the bat. Um, Vis I, look, Viserys walking into the crown room. Oh my god! Yeah, There's so one. Viserys walking in the crown room. What's my second one then? Go ahead. It just happened it, when they when um. Eric, either with the E or the A, one of the two, because they freaking sound oh, the yeah, same. Yep. When he when he had that satchel and he brings the crown out, mm -hmm. oh my gosh! Because Rhaenyra needed that in that moment, so like I felt like she really needed that crown for the extra little boost and the extra little like I got to do this for my dad. What my dad said, the reminder. Like, mm. what's your least favorite part so far? What's the part that's just made you the most angry? Just Otto Hightower as a person. You don't like Otto? I just, I'm just getting sneaky vibes from him, and I always have. And ever since he'd done that thing to Allison, how about you reverse and answer both those questions yourself? Okay, my least favorite part is when the uh, toe. Nah, dude, I'm down with the toes, guys. <laughs> I, it's the, it's the, it's the Amon beating his Johnson outside the window. A Aegon. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Aegon. Sorry, yeah. sorry, yeah, Aegon. The oldest one, Aegon. Um, yeah, him doing that was a little on the strange side, don't you? Don't you know? I, but I felt like you said it wasn't like that, but I felt like it was like F King's Landing. That's really what I felt like, because now that guy is he was like that the whole time when it was time for him to be king. He was on the run. I don't think he was doing it because he was trying to, you know what I'm saying? Metaphorically say F King's Landing. I think uh, I think in his mind, he just he just wanted to do it on people's heads while they walked <laughs> by because he could, because people would literally have to thank him for it because, you <laughs> know, he, off with your head if you don't. <laughs> Right. But Could you imagine that, guys? Could you imagine just walking down the road? It's like the 14th. <laughs> it's like it's just that time. You know what I'm saying? Then all of a sudden, just you just have like you just <laughs> bought you just bought some oysters, clams, and cockles. You're about to like eat it real quick, and then <laughs> it just splashes all in your all in your food. And then you got to look up and then show appreciation. Insane. Your uh, grace. Yeah, that's definitely my least favorite part. I yeah. thought that part was just wild. Any of these childbirth parts. They're tough, it's just hard yeah. to deal with, man, because, like, good Lord, uh, if you've ever had a baby out there, man, just salute to you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> and, yeah, I think my favorite part for sure was Viserys walking into the the throne room. But I also think there was just a lot of the times that stand out, like Damon getting mad and then going into the caves was a good time. 
I think uh, the moment where Rhaenyra just turned around and looked, like, that was probably the moment that will stand out in my mind the most. Mm -hmm. There's just been a lot of good moments, man. There really has. I'm really digging the show. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting. Seriously, we're going to get out of here so we can watch the next one because we need to get caught up, guys. We want to get live with you guys so we can talk about what's going on. And you guys won't have to sit there and wait on us. So thank you guys so much for tuning in.